guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have swatches for you from the July Shimmer Box. If you don't know what Shimmer Box is, it is a monthly nail polish box where four indie makers get together, two of which are usually consistent, which would be Native War Paints and Colors by Laroe. And then every month we have an X number of guest makers, and I say it that way because there were three permanent makers where we'd have one guest maker a month, then there were two permanent makers where we would have two guest makers a month, and then next month I am a guest maker in the Shimmer Box, and I know there are three guest makers that month where Native War Paints is the only consistent one for the next couple of months because Colors by Laro is taking a break. But besides the point, today I have the July Shimmer Box. So you get four full-size indies that will ship um, to you for $36 plus shipping. It comes out to about $40 for full, four, four full-size indies. So this month's theme is Summer Nights, um, and it is available July 29th. So in the description box below, I will link where you can purchase this box on the 29th. I will also link all of the Indie Maker sites as well as their Instagram pages. You won't be able to purchase these individually. Um, but it is a good representation of the brand themselves if it is something you are interested in. So like I said, we have two guest makers this month. We have Native War Paints and Colors by Laro who are always consistent. And then this month I have the pleasure of working with Bees Knees for my very, for, my very first uh, Bees Knees experience. And then, I hope I'm saying this right, but Illorraine, who um, I have seen about a million times. I've bought a couple polishes from them before, um, but I've <laughs> never gotten around to trying them. So. I am very in love with this month's box. I'm very excited to share it with you today. I will stop talking and let's go ahead and get started. So working alphabetically, we will start with one of the guest makers this month. This is Bees Knees Lacquer and this is a black base polish with red shimmer and some gold magnetic shimmer and this is called Heated. I did want to go ahead and show you real fast um, the magnetic effect of this. So here is our first coat of Heated. And this goes on really nice and opaque. It has a great formula, easy to work with, no running or pulling or staining. For magnetic polishes, I do like to build up an opaque base first because the magnetic effect will pull from the base color. It'll pull all the shimmer, so it'll make it look sheer and patchy. So I like to do the magnet only on the second coat or third if it needs three. So this is completely opaque here in two coats for me. The magnetic effect is very strong and it pulls really easily. You will want a nice glossy top coat for this to make it nice and shiny because it does dry a little bit dull and it'll help make your manicure last a little bit longer as well. And the magnet that I'm using is from Starly, but really any magnet should work with this one, any nail polish magnet. So there is two coats. So moving on to the Colors by La Roche shade, we have Deserted Beaches, and this is a denim blue linear hollow with a strong copper shimmer. So here is our first coat of Deserted Beaches. This has a fantastic formula. Colors by La Roche has really been killing it lately for me. This is almost completely opaque in one coat. I would easily be able to wear this any given day in just one coat, but for the sake of the video and that a lot of people like two coats, I am going to go ahead and show you what a second coat looks like. The hollow in this is very strong once the polish is completely dried down. You will want a nice glossy top coat to finish this one off as well because while it dries relatively glossy, the glossy top coat is going to help the hollow stand out, the shimmer stand out, and everything just look nice and cohesive. And this didn't stain me either, being so opaque, so there is two coats. Moving on to Illorraine, which I hope I'm saying right, we have Vesper, and this is an indigo blue base with copper and pink shimmer, hollow sparks, and purple to pink to gold flakies. Here is our first coat of Vesper, and I... <laughs> I have stupid moments, I swear. I thought this brand was spelled R-A-I-N and now I realize it's Illyrian, <laughs> not Illyrain. Anyway, this polish has a beautiful formula, no running, pulling, easy to work with, all that good stuff. It is a little bit sheer here on this first coat, but if it were any more opaque, you wouldn't be able to see all of that added elements, the flakies, the micro glitter, anything like that, but it is completely opaque here in two coats. It does dry down to a fully matte finish, so you will want a nice glossy top coat to finish this one off as well, but it does look beautiful matte to make those flakies stand out. The shimmer stands out really beautifully. It's going to dry a little bit textured, but it wasn't difficult to remove. So there is two coats. 
And the final shade is from Native War Paints, and this is called Dusk. And this is like a London sky gray base with some hollow flashes, and then it's got a pink to copper shifting shimmer. Here is our first coat of Dusk. And this is another one that has a beautiful formula, no running, pulling, staining, easy to work with, all of that good stuff that you like to hear. It is a little bit sheer here on this first coat, but overall it does cover pretty well. So here is our second coat, and it does cover completely in two coats for me. If you work in super thin coats, I could see potentially needing three for this one. It also dries down a little bit dull, so you will want a nice glossy top coat. Nothing in here is going to dry textured, nothing in here is going to be difficult to remove. So there is two coats. The purple is my favorite. Vesper is so beautiful from Illerain. Um, I, I love, again, I've said this in almost every video that includes one of these shades. I love these blurple shades with like the bright pinky purple shimmers. Um, this had a beautiful two coat formula. It had a super strong shimmer. It has these micro flakies. It has the holographic element. I thoroughly love this. Not that everything in this month's box didn't blow me away because um, this Colors by Laro is almost a one coater. This magnetic pulls amazingly and this gray from Native War Paints is totally my shade. So not that I didn't love everything in this month's box, but the Illerain stole it for me. So anyway, love this. <laughs> And that is it. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of these polishes. Let me know if you plan on picking up this month's box and let me know what your favorite from it was. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more from me and I will talk to you again next time. Bye.